So we are only two weeks out from the opening weekend of MLB The Show 24 if you pre-order one of the special editions like I have with the Digital Deluxe. And we finally have some Diamond Dynasty news. SDS just posted a blog today. It goes through a lot. There are a lot of big changes to Diamond Dynasty. So we're going to go over it today. So if you want to see this blog on your own, just go to MLB The Show on Twitter. It was one of the most recent posts. They just have a link, and it's also on the MLB The Show website. There's a lot to break down. A lot of good changes, in my opinion, compared to last year. So as you can see in this article, they talk about Team Affinity expanding to three chapters each season. So there's going to be like three stages in each Team Affinity season. So that's going to be nice. There's going to be free Cornerstone cards, fewer higher 99, so a lot less 99. Free weekly packs, that's cool. More wild cards, that's great. More ways to earn and sell high tier cards. Seasons are now 12 weeks long. I'm going to get into my opinions on that. I'm not sure what my opinion on, on that is now. Uh, more frequent Team Affinity content drops, just said that. And then there's a live content feature premiere on March 14th at 3 p.m. Pacific. So as it always is, the night before the pre-order weekend, they're going to go over in depth about Diamond Dynasty. So let's really get into depth on this article. So introducing seasonal Diamond Dynasty. So seasons are back. Sets are not back though. So seasons are returning. It was a new thing in only the show 23. Seasons are going to be every 12 weeks now. They were about like every eight weeks. So we're probably only going to have like three seasons in Diamond Dynasty. Uh, one thing to note is that each season, it's not like how it was last year where set one was for season one and season two. After season one, season one cards are not eligible for season two. They are only eligible for the season that they're in. So sets aren't like a thing anymore. They're just called S1. Like if you can look at this Willie Castro card, it just says S1. They don't have sets anymore. It's just seasonal cards because the sets don't even carry over. Um, I don't really know my opinion on that there's other more important stuff that i have an opinion on and i really like so basically anyone who's no longer in season can be used as a wild card slot this is an important change from mlb the show 23 where cards could overlap into two seasons their aim is to keep the season to season experience fresh and cards with low overalls will have their time to shine as well so okay i could see how sds thinks that that get, keeps the game more fresh here we see a lineup screen. You see four wild cards. We're going to get into that later. Core cards are returning, so they're going to be eligible for every season. Um, if you want to look at the lineup screen, one thing, they added clutch to the attribute wheel. I think that's really nice. So yeah, core, core cards are back. Uh, live series cards are core, of course. And then be on the lookout for extra special core card collection rewards of Legends and Flashbacks, including a special launch collection feature of our Unmembly the Show 24 cover athlete, Vlad Jr., so it looks like we're going to be getting a 91 overall Vlad on day one as a special collection. If I had to guess, that would be like the, the first Team Affinity collection. I don't know if they're going to be doing season collections like the set collections last year. Uh, but this is cool to see. And then moving down the wildcard slots. These are returning, but you can unlock multiple up to four total. I love this. I love this addition. So you'll start out with one and then in season two, you can unlock wild cards in the XP reward path. I really like that. So talking about the structure of Diamond Dynasty when it comes to seasons and wild cards, I think that these are some really good changes. I didn't expect sets and seasons to completely go away like people wanted it to, but I think these changes are going to help make the game a lot more fresh because it just got super boring at parts in MLB The Show 23. Moving down to cornerstone cards, these are free cards at the start of every season, so you're going to be able to, it's like a free choice pack, and they're captain cards, so captain cards are back too, and basically you get to choose one card of the four, and it's supposed to be like the cornerstone of your team, it's not going to end up if you're like me and you just get the best cards in the game, but anyway, this is just a cool little touch. So you'll be able to pick one of these four cards for free and like build your team around them for the whole season. Uh, but yeah, I mean, these are cool 88 overalls. Seasonal starter packs. So every season we're going to be getting a free captain and free packs. So that's always cool. And head start rewards are coming back at the start of season two. So that's nice too. So if we move down to the article, we see the season one XP reward path. Just a few things to note here. We have captains for hitters and pitchers. Headliners are back. 
it's basically the same as diamond duos they just renamed it and made it two featured cards per pack and headliners was only one so i'm assuming it's going to go back to one um, which makes sense because they were just throwing out random 99s in those diamond duos because they're not really going to have enough content to do two if they bring back the power creep um, and then we have bond as a habits stubs and then if you look closely at the unlimited bonus rewards you can zoom in we have a chase pack so chase packs are back we have a 90 plus live series pack so you can get a 90 plus live series pack on a wheel spin if you complete the xp reward path so that's nice uh, but the important thing here is that they're talking about the about having less 99s at the start of the season and the power creep in the season so it's basically this quote really stands out to me a saying that our development team has coined is that it feels good to be bad and then get good we hope that our players will share that sentiment and play to 99 with us as every season unfolds so what they're trying to say is they heard the community feedback and they're bringing the power creep into each season so at the start of every season there aren't going to be that many 99s it'll probably just be like or at least day one, the, the live series collection, and then maybe like if they do the season collections again, and then maybe like maybe XP or path bosses, but there aren't going to be that many 99s, which I like. I like the power creep in each season, so it keeps the game fresh. I didn't like the power creep for the entire year. Um, so it's kind of a mix of a full power creep and sets and seasons from last year, which I personally really and really think is going to be better. Now moving to more of an online section here, they mentioned that ranked programs will feature sellable rewards, so no more non-sellable packs. God, that was so annoying. Oh my God. Um, an exclusive player program re reward for you to earn in ranked solo or co-op. So there's finally going to be an exclusive player to ranked seasons. So you can make World Series and there will be an exclusive player that you can't get through the program i think right or maybe it's the opposite maybe it's saying the exclusive player is in the program not 100 percent sure but i would i think that would be cool if they made an exclusive player to making world series br i hate br i've never got 12 and 0 this is the one mode that kills me i can make top like 300 in ranked seasons i make world series every season but i can't go 12 and 0. they are changing the flawless to 10 and 0 now so this will hopefully help me. I've gone 10-0 multiple times, but then choked. So maybe I'll go flawless for the first time this year. Um, I think this is pretty nice. You know, the game, BR is really RNG because it's all-star difficulty with like two diamonds and then a bunch of silvers. So I think 10-0 is good. And then events, every event is going to last for two weeks. So we'll have more time to grind for those rewards. It's a really good way to make subs. So nice to see that we're going to have more time to get these rewards. This is another important quote from this article. They're putting a heavier emphasis on the online play for better rewards. So basically, it's saying that if you're someone who focuses on multiplayer modes like ranked battle royale and events, you'll have the opportunity to earn higher rate rated rewards initially. On the other hand, if you prefer single player modes like mini seasons, conquest and showdown, you will have the opportunity to earn better rewards over time as overall progression escalates. This is a very big quote. This means that they're putting a heavier emphasis on online play. They're going to put the better rewards in online play, which I think makes total sense. Make basically means that the better you are at the game, the better rewards you'll get. I really like this because I'm really good at the game, uh, but it still makes it possible to have a good team without playing online. They're not completely eliminating that. It's just harder to just grind a good team without playing online and you can still be like not that good and play online and get like the program awards but i like to have your emphasis on online play now for team affinity uh like i said earlier there are going to be stages in every season so every season is going to have three chapters so in season one there's going to be a chapter one chapter two and a chapter three and then in season two there's going to be a chapter one chapter two and chapter three so like if we have three seasons which is what it's probably going to be because each season is 12 weeks and you know you would assume that it would be three maybe four but if there's three seasons there's going to be nine different team affinity updates which is really good one thing about team affinity is i would always grind it out super quickly and then i would have nothing to do in it for months because i would get it done within a week and then i'd have seven weeks of the rest of the season and it's all done so i really like this it keeps team affinity a lot fresher 
and this is also going to have a power creep within the team affinity so as you can see ryan dozier here who is a new legend if you want to call him a legend uh just because he retired and they got his rights this is an 89 overall card 72 81 contact 89 101 power terrible clutch at 57 uh, but this is an 89 overall card so this is going to be one of this is going to be the t the twins boss for chapter one of season one and he's going to be an 89 what's going to happen is that chapter two the bosses are going to be higher overall so i would say if i had to guess maybe like 92 93 and then chapter three maybe like 96 97 don't call me on that that's not confirmed anywhere that's just my guess but as the season goes on and the chapters go on there's going to be a power creep in the team affinity rewards which i really like so this is a brian dozier card and then they also showed this takashi okazaki card uh these are coming back they were not known to be the show 23 they were in 22 when Shohei was on the cover 89 overall 96 83 contact 78 72 power 81 clutch really good arm i mean like these cards are 89 overall so they're not going to be like insanely good um but they'll be good for the first couple of weeks when the power creep is at like the beginning stage so yeah as you can see here those legends are 89 overall in chapter one at launch but each sub subsequent chapter of team affinity in season one will have better and be better and better player card overalls is this whatever i don't think the grammar is correct on a sentence but you get the point some Q&A for Team Affinity here. Um, they mentioned how the progression is going to be quicker than it was in years past, so it's going to take less time to complete Team Affinity programs. Um, you can play anywhere and get progress. It's basically just the same as last year, where there's just a task in like every mode that you can do. Uh, repeatable ways. The Team Affinity vouchers are repeatable, uh, but that's it. And then there are also like these stat missions, where can I earn Team Affinity progress anywhere in Diamond Dynasty, like I said. There are going to be different ways in every single mode. So to wrap up, um, they say like this little statement about them really appreciating the constructive feedback and they like see it and they want to hear it and they want to make the game better, which is true. SDS is the best company out of all the sports video games, like their game is so not pay to win. Um, you know, obviously there was a lot of outbreak regarding sets and seasons and it was well deserved uh, But it looks like they're making some good changes and they also show this little Cooperstown card those of you who don't know Cooperstown is where the baseball hall of fame is and it looks like a baseball hall of fame plaque But this card is completely blurred out. So you can't see who it is So I wonder who that's gonna be. This is definitely gonna be a 99 like why would they make Cooperstown cards that aren't 99s? Um, this, maybe this is the live series collection who knows we really won't be able to tell but yeah anyway that's going to be it for this video um first video in a while like i said in my last video I'm not sure when i'm going to be posting but we got some diamond dynasty news so i posted today <laughs> um appreciate the support expect more videos once mlb the show 24 comes out not sure if i'm gonna be posting at all until mlb the show 24 comes out i can't believe it's already out in two weeks like it feels like time has moved so quickly if there's any more Diamond Dynasty news before Thursday night, I'm probably not going to post after the feature premiere because it's just not worth it because then five hours later the game comes out. If there's any more news before that, I'll probably post. But yeah, um, that's going to be for this video. I've been your host, Nick from Biggins Gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.